Alrighty, gang, welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel. We are here. Um, we got the uh, the cool summer out uh, the summer outfit, right? Everybody has a summer outfit now. Uh, I haven't played this game in about a week and a half, almost two weeks. I don't know, but uh, let's get back into it, shall we? Let's go catch some fish if we can. Might as well go fishing, right? Hey man, where's the fishing pond? Right over here, right? So let's start this ep episode right with some fishing. Which one is this? VV asked me to swap clothes with her for a while, but I'm not sure I should have. I should have never. <laughs> I should have never taken care of plants before. <laughs> as long as they're watered, they should be fine, right? Oh, uh, she's never taken. Uh, she's never taken care of plants before. Excuse me. The last thing I need is for her doing any more embarrassing stuff while pretending to be me. Uh, yeah, too bad. Uh, yeah, that's too late. Too late, lady. V hasn't been visiting the club much recently. I see her around the academy from time to time, but she seems a little depressed. It's rather worried. If I can't take care of her, I'll take care of our flowers. Oh, nice. How nice of her. Oh, yeah, I forgot uh, fishing. Oh, yeah, somebody told me to use the beginner's rod in this pond. Because apparently I'm missing a fish. What even is this? Boom, boom, boom. If I catch every fish in the game, do I get something special? What even is if this? If I catch every fish in the game, I'll be able to see nudes of Sarah, right? Nudes of uh, the instructor Sarah. <laughs> All right, let's catch every fish in the game. Then that's my motivation. Not bad. Anork harp. Damn, dude gave me 50. Huh. Alright. Caught one. Boo -boo -boo. Hey, man. Huh. What even is this? What even is this? All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to Trista, because that's like where we're supposed to be. Oh, is this Rex? It's Rex Rex. Aha, beautiful, simply beautiful. These shots are gonna make me a killing. See, this dude's like, yo, you got those noobs? How much you trying to sell them for, man? I got some customers on pins and needles for these after all. This dude, this dude Rex, bro. Oh, dude, he's in the business. He's in the right business. I don't think I talked to Angelica. I heard that Elisa met Glenn during your last field study. She always seems so concerned about him. I assume that's a weight off her shoulders. Nothing can make me happier, as a friend at least. I'm glad to hear the weight's been lifted off Elisa's shoulders. I'm here to take the weight off your shoulders, because I'm buried. And apparently I triggered some journalist. <laughs> Uh, have we been into the library yet? Yeah, I don't think we read any of the new material. I don't think we read that last one. Yeah, here we go. It's really hot outside lately, but the library is still pleasantly cool. Ah! All right, dude, apparently I'm missing the next. <laughs> I'm mad, cause how did I miss this? It's like the second fish. How do I get every other fish but the second fish? I'm a little bit salty. I'm a little salty that I didn't catch the second fish. Stay outside. Oh, dude, they won't let me go back to, I wanna go to Trista, dude. Don't force me to go. Should I go back to the dormitory? Gosh, darn it. Looks like we got to. All right. It's hot to the mug outside. I'm about to go get me a uh, ice cream sandwich. I guess there are cicadas around Trista too. 
When I hear them, I always feel like that's when Summers really arrives. Retiring for the day, Schwarzer? Is that Cam Clark? Nope. It's the guy that sounds like Cam Clark. Instructor Neidhart? Yes. Are you heading out too? Indeed. I have some business to take care of with my division, so I'll be returning there tomorrow. Wait, is that the Ron Ronaldo's voice actor? With that on the agenda, I thought it wise to finish the day's work early. Your division? Oh, yeah. You were sent here by the Imperial Army, right? Correct. Though because of that, it's difficult to keep a regular schedule here. Anyway, while I'm here, I want to acknowledge the work you did during your field study last month. You mean that incident in Nord? Oh, yeah. That that huge incident that could have escalated into, like, full-on war, dude. The same. Reading the Army's report, it seemed that armed conflict with the Republican Army was a real possibility. While the Intelligence Division no doubt had a hand in resolving the conflict, you and the other members of your group played an integral part in averting a war. You deserve credit for that. Um, thanks. You haven't been able to find out anything more about that man with the glasses, have you? The one who hired the mercenaries and introduced himself as Gideon? Regrettably not. The intelligence division is looking into his identity, but they don't appear to have found anything yet. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they had discovered something already, but chose not to share it with us. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they do that a lot. I see. Schwarzer, I'll be the first to admit you performed admirably out there. Your strats to delay people? Your AOEs to delay people? It's insane! But I assume you're aware that luck played a large part in your success? Luck? <laughs> well, I... Reading your report, the number of arbitrary decisions stood out to me. <laughs> what? For an army to function, its members need to work together as a group united under the will of its commander. As an organization, it can't perform at its best if its members disregard authority and act on instinct. You've already been over this in class, I believe? Yes, Instructor. I realize now that our actions in Nord were rash, but they made things harder for the Lieutenant General. If it wasn't for our inexperience, we might have been able to capture the man with the glasses too. If you understand that, I have Bruh. nothing further to say on that. It's not my intent to belittle your efforts. Hold up, man. Hold up. This dude summoned a... He summoned a giant ninja scroll summoning of a spider, bro. We had to deal with the spider. Of course, he got away. He summoned a giant spider. Nah, man. Nah. I did more work than the army did. Nah. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, man. I'm mad. No, he's like, yeah, yeah, I know you I know you fought him off, you beat him, you, you you killed people with guns with just swords, uh, you fought off a giant ass spider that ate other soldiers, and uh yeah, but you didn't get the dude with the glasses, so you you fucked up, Reen. You fucked up. Like, come on man. My dude put it in work and whatever, dude. I'm mad. <laughs> Your report indicates that you were forced to make a number of split second decisions. I'm not suggesting that there's no place for flexibility and independent thought in an organization like the Army. But it's vital for you to understand the reasoning behind and importance of that structure and to respect it. Yes, Instructor. <sighs> Teaching cadets to respect and work within that system should be the job of their classes. I feel like Rain already knows this, but they're telling him this anyway. Though, considering her background, I was foolish to expect that of her. Her? You're talking about Instructor Sarah? Indeed. Granted, she's quite skilled, but she lacks the disposition and diligence of a soldier. I understand she didn't come from an army background, but with her position, one would hope she would pick up on the basics. Oh, so... Do you know what Instructor Sarah did before she became an instructor here? Oh? Is she keeping mum about that? I just assumed you were already aware. Before she came to Thor's, Sarah was- Uh-uh-uh! Uh, 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 it's not of the course. coming of a gentleman to go of around course. broadcasting a lady's Of course secret, she's just you know. sure right before we find out something, dude.
How'd you even hear this conversation did when you were by the door Sarah? through the the, the the entrance of the the school? Like <laughs> Instructor Valestine. I totally understand where you're coming from. You meet a beautiful, captivating lady, and you want no more. But don't let hard-headed officer types like our friend here rub off on you too much. Got it? You always play by the rules, and you'll find yourself in a jam someday when you encounter people who don't. You're right. Instructor? You're right. <laughs> You're one to talk. I hardly think a capricious instructor who leaves everything to chance is capable of guiding our cadets to greatness. Well, of course, I couldn't do a better job than the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or was that the Provincial Army? I mean, you've got the whole tradition and status or everything mindset down pat. <laughs> These two really don't seem to get along. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna go home and make some ramen. Y'all good with that? Y'all good with... Alright, I'm out. First Sharon, <laughs> now Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Sarah almost seems like she's spoiling for a fight. Who do we have here? Well, if it isn't Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart. Oh, it's Thomas. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm out of here now. Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, Instructor Thomas? <laughs> oh, and young Reen is with you too. Simply marvelous. It looks like you're having a downright jolly time. Uh, I'm not sure that would be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, I was just leaving. Come along, Reen. We need to hurry back to the dorms now. We do? No, oh, but... While we're all together like this, what say we have a few drinks together and enjoy some quality faculty bonding time? I heard the two of you really know how to hold your liquor. <laughs> I'm afraid I really must. I've actually just been hit with the overwhelming urge to drink alone in my room tonight. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to be shy. We're all friends here. Instructor Thomas. Oh, I know. Why don't you come along with us, Reen? Oh, I get the drink. Oh, yeah, I did fight that big-ass spider with my friends, you know what I'm saying? So I, I deserve a drink. We can't float a beer your way quite yet. What? I'd be happy to treat you to something else. What, dude? Give me a Mike's heart. It, it doesn't have to be beer. Just give me a Mike's heart, bro, and say it's like a, a soda pop. No, it's <laughs> quite all right. <laughs> you teachers are always so busy, I'd hate to get in the way of your quality bonding time. <laughs> so, if you'll excuse me, Run! I'll be sure to let Sharon know that you're having dinner out tonight, instructor. <laughs> well, Reen, well, wait! <laughs> Got him! You monster, are you? Get back here, Reen Schwarzer! Reen said, nope, nope. <laughs> well, shall we be off? We ain't got time for that. <laughs> I, I couldn't possibly. I need to depart early <laughs> tomorrow morning, so I really must insist. God. <laughs> oh, dude. A Midsummer's Reveal. Revels? A Midsummer's Revels? Hang out in the dormitory. Stay in your room. I feel like one of these times we're going to miss like a, a recipe if we stay in our dorms. Or if we if we stay in our room, like we skip a very important thing. Knock knock, open up the dog. Oh, 206. Who's gonna be sleeping away from me? I thought I thought Machius stayed across from me. That's weird. I wonder who's gonna be in 206. Clearly somebody's coming into our group later. Man, if you don't get show. I have to admit, I am a little sad I won't be able to go to the summer festival this year. Since I grew up in Himdal, I looked forward to it every summer. That in and what? Oh, I just figured I said anything. LA, you, you ain't dying, are you? You can't die, bro. You can't die. I need you to make some food. You're the only one who can do this. You're the only one, bro. Good evening, Reen. Hey there, Maki. Still studying? That's great, but uh, make sure to call it a night before it gets too late. Don't worry, I will. Once it starts getting warmer, it'll probably be easier to focus on uh, studying during the mornings and evenings. That's why I figured it'd be a good idea to start easing myself into new studying hours right now. I see. Looking around, I can't help but be impressed how nice and tidy your room is. You always seem like the type to keep everything in its place. Oh, was that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, of course. Well, it's just easier to concentrate in a clean room. 
You should keep yours in order too. A clean room is a relaxing room. I agree. I recently found out that cleaning make it just improves my mood overall, dude. Like literally, I cannot like it's it's hard for me to actually want to do a task if like the room is not clean. Like if if my household area isn't clean, it's kind of hard to just relax. What are you doing? Or what are you drawing, guys? I came up with a great idea for a painting during our field study last month. I'm painting my mom naked. Isn't she a beautiful model? Whoa, guys, that's your ma. That's your ma. You shouldn't be... No, guys. <laughs> I'm in the middle of roughing out the composition for it at the moment. Nice, I look forward to seeing the finished piece. Sorry to say this, but uh, this one's gonna take me a while. Plenty of other projects to work on too. I'm planning on doing this painting at a nice relaxed pace. I guess it wasn't in the game's budget to allow guys to actually show his paintings. Look at that. If this was like Final Fantasy 15 or something, they would have had a painting on there. <laughs> the budget didn't allow for this uh, unique mechanic to have guys draw on this canvas. Hey, you says you, you allow me into your room? Really, this is awesome. What are you up to, Eusis? I'm cleaning my horse riding gear. It got dirtier than I expected while I was riding out on the highway today. Well, it looks like you're having fun in the riding club. I can understand that, though. Riding those horses across Nord Highlands on our field study felt fantastic. If we ever had the opportunity to do it again, I certainly wouldn't complain. Yeah, I wonder who drops out at the end of this game. Are there dropouts? No, don't tell me. I got a feeling there's gonna be dropouts. Somebody dying. I got a hard read that somebody's dying and it might be Elliot. That's my hard read right now. I don't need nobody to confirm or deny. I just got a feeling Elliot's going to die. I don't like the way they treat my boy right now and I need him to make omelets. It's rare to hear you sigh like that. I'm feeling tired, that's all. Lately between swimming lessons and club practice and streaming and my part-time job and dealing with my relationship, I feel like I spent more time in the water than out. I guess I still have a way to go. Still got a way to go. Her clash with Fee must still be bothering her. Calling it a day a little earlier than usual feels like a smart choice. Still got a ways to go. You still got a ways to go, head on. Laura, I'm gonna steal her sword and see if she even notices. <laughs> uh, Ring, did you take my sword? <laughs> You're the only other sword user here. Well, actually, um, your boy is. Uses is a sword user. Good evening, Ring. Evening, Emma. Say, aren't those cards the kind of people use for fortune telling? That's right, they're called tarot cards. My grandmother taught me how to use them. Girls really seem to be into that fortune telling stuff, huh? Well, how about you read my fortunes? Just something simple is fine. Uh-oh, foreshadow time. Something simple. All right, let's go with this then. Emma thoroughly shuffled her cards, then picked one. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. This card represents chance, change, and turning points in life. So a general reading would suggest that you're approaching a major turning point in your life. That's a big vague, isn't it? Sorry, I'm still learning the finer points of reading the cards. I am rather curious about this result, though. Suppose you I just need more practice with the cards. Feel free to. The wheel of fortune is turning. Rebel one. Fight. Um is Fee here? We're getting another girl eventually. This is Sarah's room. Where's Fee? Did I not knock on her door? Oh hey Fee. Why are you sitting on this box? Oh, are you okay, Fee? You were kind of spacing out there. Did you need something? No, not really. I just want to... Wait. What are you sitting on? Weapons, explosives, all the good stuff. <laughs> Whoa, just be careful with those. I know how to handle them. That's probably a bad thing, though. <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to sleep night. Uh, yeah, good night. She knows how to handle explosives, dude. Wanna to sleep together? <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to get uh thrown out of this academy. 
What? Elise is not in here? Okay, there she is. It definitely feels like summer is here now that our swimming lessons have started. I was thinking about going to the boutique tomorrow to buy some new clothes, but I don't know if I should. We're almost always in our uniforms, so there probably isn't that much point. Our summer uniforms are fairly comfortable too. I guess I shouldn't buy trendy clothes if I won't have a chance to wear them. It's logical. You wanna sleep together? <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta go. You gotta know when to go. But I ain't trying to go to jail. Technically, he wouldn't go to jail. He's in the same age range. In two years, she'll be 16, he'll be 18. It's all the same. They're all under 18, so it's all... <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. Choosing to rest will cause the day to... Oh, wait, I didn't go talk to Sharon. Sharon's probably downstairs. Sarah's here, too. I'm back! It's been a while since I got this plastered. Don't tell me you and Instructor Neidhart were trying to outdrink each other. Of course not, he hardly even drank anything. Now, Instructor Thomas, though, wow! You should have seen him drain those beers. I did my best to rise to the challenge, of course, but he just kept chugging away. It's like the booze didn't even phase him. Well, knowing you, I'm sure you're shaking off after a good night's rest. <laughs> really, though, have you ever thought of maybe drinking in moderation? I think I heard of it before, long ago. <laughs> I'm not sure what she thinks I'm talking about, but I'm, I doubt it's what I actually said. <laughs> Where's the water I asked for? Don't you think I'll forget this, Thomas? I'll drink you and your fogged up glasses under the table one day. Why am I not surprised it's alcohol that's triggered her competitive side? <laughs> what you doing, Sharon? that bath and body works vanilla no bean vanilla bean noel i'm smelling lady sarah returned home a few moments ago i see i guess it does take a gentleman to escort a stone dead drunk back home when he's plenty busy himself and we seen that lady sarah had an enjoyable evening drinking with her co-workers i wouldn't be opposed to the idea of joining them sometime or uh, join joining them sometimes should the opportunity present itself i get the feeling she plays on the list of monster drinkers <laughs> she probably does drink super good some more alcohol <laughs> alternatively some more alcohol may be pleasing to her <laughs> i wouldn't do that sharon is a hilarious person all right let's go back to our place All right, it's time to call it a day. Mmm, you smell like floral. You smell like dandelions. You smell like honeydew. Honeydew watermelon. <laughs> Speed this up. We don't need to see this. This fish lens shot of no, it's not a fish lens, a wide, a wide lens shot of this town. <laughs> All right, student council work. Old schoolhouse mystery four. This month, I like class seven to simply relax and enjoy themselves. That, of course, was a joke. Please delve deep into the old schoolhouse. <laughs> what, Principal Van Dyck, you asshole? You may begin when you're ready, but be sure you're ready for anything. What a dick, dude. What a dick. All right, I've known this boy since we were kids, but I have no idea what's on his mind lately. Oh, it's Bridget talking about Alex or something. Yeah, we saw her walking around school like the past month, like worried about this dude. But someone be able to give me some advice on how to handle this. I'll be up. I'll be in the upper class dormitory if you can help. Rumor has it that the first year in the photography club who shall remain nameless, Rex, has been taking pictures of people without their permission and selling them to other students. If this is true, I need to make him stop for his own good and everyone else's. If you are willing to assist me, please come to the photography club's club room. Fidelio, year two, class two. Oh God, Fidelio. Oh, they sure didn't hold back on the request this time. Looks like the only must do is exploring the old schoolhouse again though. Guess I should start by figuring out which ones to take care of. The old schoolhouse can wait until later. 
This is the first free day, the uh, first free day I've had since we switched over to the summer uniform. We'll probably get hot again later, but uh, it's nice right now, so I might as well get the show rolling. All right, let's focus on doing the request before we do free days. So we got one, two, three, four on this side, and then we have one, two, three, four. Probably gonna hang out with Fee and Emma. Fee, Emma, and maybe Sarah. All right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right. So let's go to class, not class seven dormitory. We're gonna go to, I guess the second floor with a photography club, or that's where the photography club is, right? No, I think it's the, it's not the student union, is it? Uses, what you drinking on over here, bro? What you sipping on tea? Sipping on that tea, bro? Hey, it's Crow. Man, if only we could bet on the races, I'd be rolling out of here on the wave of Mira. Watching them spot it up, but it's just not the same without cash on me. Oh, wow. We'll just have to deal with it. Rules are rules, unfortunately. But speaking of, I read something very interesting in a magazine the other day. Ah, interesting. I can't say I blame them, though. The summer race is the horse racing event of the year. Whoa, look at all the Sepith mass I have. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm about to make that money real quick. Uh, I can go buy that Master Quartz now. I should probably buy this, huh? Yeah, I need battle scopes. We'll stock up on 10 battle scopes. I need to save some money for ingredients for when Elliot gets in my team again. Hopefully he gets in my team this chapter. Hey, Emma. <laughs> Emma, if you were staring at those pages any harder, you'd burn a hole through them. Rena, how, how, how do I explain this? Dorothy asked me to proofread this manuscript of hers, you see. Sounds like a rough job. Couldn't help but notice you're looking a little red though. Are you feeling all right? I'm feeling perfectly fine. This manuscript definitely isn't full of uh, salacious imagery either. <laughs> Say what now? Anyway, I'm doing fine, so there's no need to worry. Sounds like she could use a little help with her proofreading. <laughs> Wait, I'm definitely hanging out with Emma, dude. This is hilarious. I hope Emma enjoys my book. But even more than that, I hope that she and I will be able to join forces and create them together one day. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, literature book president or leader is just something else. Gone fishing, Kenneth. Uh oh, what's happening here? You want us to put our clubs on the line? It'll make things simpler, you see. If you lose, then the lower class club will cease to exist. And while I can't see it ever happening, if we lose, we'll have to leave the upper class club. Only one will stand. Hold on a minute. There has to be a better way of doing this. I had hoped that the club members here would have learned their place by now, but they're actually approaching competence. We're going to have to nip this in the bud by showing them just what the upper class chess club is capable of. We didn't ask for your opinion. We members of the upper class chess club have already reached our conclusion. The match will take place one month from now. I suggest you stop preparing, little blue hair. I can't, I can't say any obscenities. Hey. <laughs> when I think of swimming pools, the first thing that comes to mind is drowning. And when I think of drowning, I can't help but think of ghosts. I can hardly wait for swimming lessons to begin. Oh my God. When I think of drowning, I cannot help but think of ghost. She, when she thinks of swimming club, she thinks of ghost and Casper. Casper the ghost. Casper is about to drown, bro. Casper is literally about to drown. Confirmed by this girl. What's her name? Beryl. 
I, I'm afraid I can't swim though. Yo, she's talking about Casper, the friendly neighborhood ghost. Yo. Oh no, I dropped my controller. You must be Fidelio. Fidelio? Fidelio? What's your dealio, Fidelio? Yeah, that's me. I'm actually head of the photography club. Given that you're a first year here, uh, helping out the student council, I suppose that makes you ring. Guilty as charged. I was hoping I could handle it on my own, but that's becoming less and less likely. I, I really do want to stop Rex, though. So would you be willing to lend me a hand? Let's get him. I really appreciate it. Like I said, the matter I want to discuss with you concerns a first year student by the name of Rex. Apparently, he's been taking inappropriate photographs of girls without their permission. And to make matters worse, he's been exchanging them in shady deals with some of the other boys at the academy. But that definitely sounds pretty sketchy. In fact, sounds like a blatant violation of the academy rules and of people's privacy. Oh man, and, and indeed it does. I'm not sure exactly what kind of photogra uh, photographs they are or what he's exchanging them for, but the fact that he's violating the rules of the academy is clear. If he keeps it up, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up suspended or even expelled. And that's why I want to stop him before it's too late. He's practically doomed if the instructors of the girls find out. <laughs> Speaking of which, have you tried discussing this with Rex in private? My girl Scarlet with the 250 bits. Thank you very much for the bits. Good luck on the uh, the interview, the job, uh, the job. Uh... Yeah, yeah, good luck on that. <laughs> I've asked about it a few times in passing, but uh, he's always plays, he always plays innocent. I assume he thinks it's safe to continue as long as it doesn't get caught in that. What if it's a major plot twist and he's been taking pictures of boys and selling it to other boys? In that case, let's catch him in that. Bust him while he's exchanging his photos. I wish I didn't have to come to this. I wish he didn't have to come to this, but I don't think we have any other choice at this point. But a word of warning, he's been extremely vigilant lately. I think I might have raised the issue one too many times and put him on guard, which is why I'm going to ask you to catch him for me. All right, I'll see what I can do. Rex and I might be from different social classes, but I've always seen us as friends who share mutual trust. All I want from him is to stop to understand what he's doing and stop all right i suppose you're right either way he seems to have a number of pre-arranged spots where he conducts these deals i've managed to work out two of them so far the first of them is behind the storage building on the field and the other is near the old schoolhouse those spots do seem secluded enough to get away with some shady business <laughs> You're going to want to be careful when, he, when trying to get near him. He has a knack of sensing danger. Tread very lightly. Hi. I'll start looking for him in the two spots you mentioned. All right, here we go. All right, I'll leave this issue to you. He's keenly aware of his surroundings, so... I actually forgot what he said already. <laughs> All right, old school house building and behind the field storage building. We're gonna save our game. All right, here we go. We, I'm, I'm hard. Next level, hard level reads. Next level, hard level reads. Hey, you. Oh, hey, Patrick. I see you're hard at work again as the student council's errand boy, though I can hardly imagine a more fitting role for the ringleader of a class of misfits. Wow, um, he almost seemed kind of down after last month, like he regretted what he said. But it looks like we're back to the old Patrick again. <laughs> oh my God. What are you smiling about? I hope you're not expecting an apology for what I said about last month, because if, you're, if so, you'll be waiting a long time. I admit, losing my composure like that wasn't befitting of my status as a member of the nobility, but uh, yeah, I get it, I get it. I don't feel bent out of shape of anything, so let's just put it behind us. Trying to feign nonchalance, are you? Always have to be the cool one, don't you, Schwarzer? No matter, I'll leave you to take care of whatever menial chores you've been saddled with today. But I have no intention of letting you get the better of me again in the classroom or in combat, so be ready. Warzer. What was all that about? 
I guess that means he really has been dwelling on what happened last month. Maybe he's not half bad after all. Alright. We got this crispy pizza, bro. Oh, Rain is actually good at making pizza, believe it or not. Okay, let's give this a try. Well, how about that? Ooh, teriyaki chicken pizza, my guy. That looks delicious. Restores 25 CP, gives us a defense and speed boost, and heals 2400 HP. My man made teriyaki chicken pizza. How about that? I guess they sh they want me to look for this guy in order. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the academy field. Yeah, so I, I went to that spot first. I'm just walking very carefully over here. Oh man, this picture's great! Rex, you're an artist! A genius even! Ah man, I don't mean to brag, but you're totally right. I am a genius. Looks like I found him. Now I just need to see a deal go down. <laughs> you got the goods? <laughs> and he's got a beanie, bro! He's got a beanie! These dudes look like they do dealing drugs. Of course, man, I brought some top quality stuff. Now we're talking, let's get... <gasps> Hold up. <laughs> What's going on, Rex? Don't tell me it's that Fidelio guy again. Nah, it's not him. It's just a feeling. Let's split for now. We'll meet back up at Area B. Got it? Got it. <laughs> My dude can sense power levels. Why did he get so quiet all of a sudden? What the? They're gone. Wait, did he sense I was here and run away? Yeah, you're not the only one who can sense power levels. Sure seems that way, right over those boxes by the looks of it. So this is what Fidelio meant about him being really, really good at sensing danger. But I found out where he went. He went to Area B, bro. Hey. Here we go. There he is, the same guy from before is with him too. He should have the pictures on hand, so now would be the time to ask. Sorry, do you have a minute? You got a new customer? Now, I'm pretty sure that's Rain from Class 7. You know, the guys who's always helping out the student council. Damn, we just about closed the deal too. He might have been the one you noticed earlier then. No doubt about it. And he's headed straight for us. We can't let him see the stash though. <laughs> what are we gonna do? He's pretty close already. Don't worry, I got a plan. If we make it out of here alive, we'll meet at point C. You ready? Yeah. I got some questions for you two. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing over there in that revealing swimsuit, Elisa? <laughs> wow, hit him with the look over there. <laughs> Why would she even be in a swim? Bamboozled. Son of a. <laughs> you just got played and they're already gone well they're fast if nothing else they got me good this time <laughs> hit them with hit them with the old the oldest trick in the book we've been to the places Fidelio mentioned but it seems like they have another meeting spot engineering building a building that's not used a lot maybe Engineering building, maybe? I thought maybe they'd be behind there or something. Well, let's see what's, what they're up to. What are your plans for the summer festival? I heard your dad told you to attend the garden party this year. He'd be a fool to assume that I'd ever go along with that. There's no way I w I'm wasting my time wearing a frilly dress and hobnobbing with those high society idiots. Hitting the stalls with you and Toa would be a million times more fun. That's the Andrea I know. I have absolutely no intention of obeying my father and attending the stupid garden party. I'm pretty curious about the rooms that Prince, uh, Princess Alfin might be attending. 
She's known as one of the Empire's greatest treasures for a reason. She's like a little angel. Hey, right, dude, where they gotta be, dude? They show up on the map or something, right? Maybe they're in Trista. Oh, I have a feeling they're in Trista somewhere. Huh? You can go in here? I didn't even know you can go in here. <laughs> I've never even walked in this mug. Maybe he found his way in here. Oh my God, dude. This is hilarious. And where them dudes at? Where them cronies at? Where those jabronis at, dude? Knock, knock. I'll take this one. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Ah, seriously, again? Okay, gotta go later. <laughs> wait, wait up, Rex. Nah, where you going? Okay, hand it over. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you, but you shouldn't have that photo. I guess I'm sunk. Fine, here you go. Reigns confiscated the offending photo. Toa? Is this President Toa? I'm a big fan, all right? What, you got a problem with that? Not exactly. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I heard that Rex was taking inappropriate photos, but this is just a picture of her working like she always does. Isn't it great? It's Toa in her natural habitat. How can, you heart, how can your heart not melt when you see this sweet look of determination? Sneaking a picture like this is an art, and you can't deny that Rex is a master of his craft, can you? Can you? Well, I, I really can't. But he still took this photo without permission, so I figured as much. That's why I handed it over. <laughs> but are you sure you should be standing here talking to me while Rex gets away? Yeah, good point. I can tell that he's still somewhere in the auditorium, though. Seems like he's planning on hiding it out. <laughs> Either way, I better not catch you buying candid photos again. Y yeah, I got it. You buying photos of my wife? How much you pay though? He's upstairs, I bet. Bruh. Bruh, I see you, fam. I see you. Get over here, Rex. Where's, where are the photos? Rex is over. There's nowhere to run. Just come quietly and brace for a lecture from Fidelia. <laughs> Uh, how'd you even think to look up here? <laughs> Bruh, I followed your steps. All right, the game's up, Rex. Hand over all the photos you've taken without their, sub uh, their subject's permission. And don't even think about holding on the photo course you used to take them. Oh, damn. This is all I got left, though. Fidelio took the photographs and photo course from Rex. Dude. Wow, they're remarkably, <laughs> remarkably varied, aren't they? It looks like there are even more on the photo courts, too. Uh, these are good photos, bro. Put them in the fucking yearbook. That was my one F-bomb for today. Well, yeah. These are really nice photos, though. I'm surprised. So am I. They're all very characteristic of the girls featured in them. They really convey each girl's individual charms. So you like them, too, then? They're beautiful photographs. I'll give you that. So, but that doesn't change the fact that they were taken without the girl's permission. It's not, <laughs> come on. It doesn't matter how well taken a photo uh, picture is if the subject doesn't want to be photographed. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say here, don't you? I guess. We heard that you were exchanging them with some of the other students. That's right. I'm afraid we're going to need to ask you to give us whatever you traded for too. Fine. It's full of pictures of girls. Well, at least he wasn't selling them for Mira. So now what happens to me? If the photos were too risque, I was going to tell you to leave the club. But I think I know just the way to put this all behind us. Oh, Fidelia tore up the photographs and put the photo courts under a bright light. Utterly destroying the photographs on it. No! All my hard work! My blood, sweat, and tears! Compared to having the instructors find out about what you were doing, this is a cakewalk. Uh, cakewalk. Oh, that's true. I doubt anyone other than Fidelia would have forgiven me for what I did either. Oh, it's not that bad, bro. 
You really think so? Um, I, I haven't been coming to the club for a while, too. As long as you realize what you did was wrong, I have no intention of harping on the matter of any further. It looks like everything's okay between them now. That's a relief. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you to stop taking pictures of the girls, but make sure you get their permission in the future, okay? All right. Green pendulum. Whack. Green pendulum, but it, like, give me eight things. Like, it better be great. Okay. Sleep, nightmare, faint, and confused. All right. I'm down with that. I was just going to say, it better give me eight, like, status element protections. These dudes are still going at it. All right. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we're going to be back with more uh, Trails of Cold Steel. I'll see you guys for the remaining quest. <laughs>